I'm Michael Samuel Chang. So today we are going to solve this equation. We solve for x in 5 raised to x times 5 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 10. So one important thing that we need to know before we can proceed is the laws of indices. We have the law of indices that a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised is the base are the same we subtract the powers m raised to m minus n so the other law of indices is a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n the multiplication law that leads to addition of the powers of the ind indices so from here now we can be able to rewrite our equation as 5 raised to x times 5 raised to x now here we apply the first law of indices and that is now we have 5 raised to x then divide by 5 raised to 1 will be equal to 10. This can also be written as 5 raised to x times 5 raised to x over 5 raised to 1 will be equal to 10. And from there, we multiply by 5 on both sides, multiply by 5 so that 5 will cancel, then we shall end up having 5 raised to x times 5 raised to x is equal to 50. So let us say um, 5 raised to x be equal to a. Therefore in our equation here we shall have a times a which is a squared will be equal to 50. Therefore a will be the square root of 50. So let me leave at that particular point. The other thing we can be able now to do, we know initially we said let a be 5 raised to x, so it simply means 5 raised to x will be equal to root 50. Therefore, in this case, this will be 5 raised to x will be equal to is the same as 25 times 2 which is square root of 25 is 5 square root of 2 is root 2 so 5 raised to x is equal to 5 root 2 we can still be able to take logs to base 10 on both sides and we shall have x log 5 will be equal to log of 5 root so this will be uh, x will be equal to log of 5 root 2 all over log of 5. Remember in this case we cannot be able just to cancel log of 5 and log of 5 directly since here there is that multiplication law of logarithm. So from here, this can also be written as log of 5. Here there is multiplication, so it will lead to addition of logarithm plus log of root 2 all over log of 5. Still this can be written as log of 5 plus is the same as a half log of 2 all over log of 5 will be equal to log of 5 using a calculator we shall end up getting 0 0.6990 then plus a half log of 2 shall end up getting 0 0.1505 divided by log of 5 is 0 0.6990 
add the numerator part we shall end up getting 0 0.8495 divided by 0 0.6990 and if we divide using the calculator we should end up getting 1.2153 that's how we go about it We have another question, still under logarithm, we are still going to solve for non value and this is the question, we have log of x base 10 into bracket we square it will be equal to 3 minus log of x squared base 10. So we need to find the value of x. So Actually, we can also be able to rewrite this uh, equation as log of x base 10 to bracket squared is equal to 3 minus, this can also be written as 2 log of x base 10. So, we have two common values, that is log of x base 10. So, we can say let log of x base 10 be equal to say a value t therefore we are going to replace t where we have log of x base 10 so from here we will have t squared will be equal to 3 minus 2 log of x base 10 is t so that will be minus 2t we are going to rearrange this such that you have t squared plus 2t minus 3 will be equal to 0. And this is purely a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, we can be able to use factorization method to solve for t. And in that case, we need to find the product AC. Product AC, in our case, it is T squared and minus 3, which is minus 3 T squared. Therefore, we get factors of minus 3 T squared, such that when we add, we are going to get 2T. And the factors will be T minus T and 3t. You can be able to see minus t times 3t is minus 3t squared. And if we add, we shall be able to get 2t. So that's what we are going to use in our question here. We write it in the expanded form. That is the middle term. So this will be t squared. 2t will be the same as minus t plus 3t then minus 3 minus 3 will be equal to 0. From this point we have we can take them into pairs then we factor out what is common. We take into pairs and we factor out the common factor. So from here t is common so we have t t squared divided by t, that will be t, minus t divided by t, that is minus 1, close the bracket, then from here we have positive 3, that is common, close the bracket, 3t divided by 3, that is t, minus 3 divided by positive 3, that is minus 1, will be equal to 0. Therefore we take uh, whatever is in bracket is common, so we have t plus 3 plus, multiplied by, we take one of the values in bracket, t minus 1 will be equal to 0. Therefore, t plus 3 is equal to 0 or t minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, t will be minus 3 or t is 1. So from this point, we have, remember, we say let 
log of x base 10 be log of x base 10 be t and in our case when t is minus 3 so this is a logarithmic notation so let us write it in index notation this will be the same as 10 raised to minus 3 is equal to is equal to x which is the same as x is equal to 1 over 1000 the other case scenario is log of x base 10 will be equal to t is 1 so we have 1 in index notation that will be 10 raised to 1 is equal to x therefore the value of x will be 10 and 1 over a thousand so those are the values of x in this our equation thank you so much see you in the next lesson thank you